Hi guys, welcome to Day Ten Challenge. Jane has some drawings of parrots. She wants to color only the head, tail, and wings of each parrot red, blue, or green, so that all three colors are used on each picture. She colors one parrot's head red, its wings green, and its tail blue. How many more parrots can she color so that all the parrots are colored differently? For this question, we want to only color the head, the tail, and the wings. For head, we have three options, right? They are red, blue, or green. If the head is red, then the tail can be blue or green. If the tail is blue, then the wings have to be green. And if it's green, then they are blue. And if the head is blue, the tail can be red or green. Then the wings can be green. Or red. Same for this one. Tail can be red or blue, and the wings are blue or red. How many options are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. But what we want is how many more parrots. Since she already colored one parrot's head red, wings green, and tail blue, so we got six minus one, which is five. So D is the answer. Okay, next question. Olga has three cards, as shown in the picture. Using them, she can form different numbers. For example, nine hundred eighty-nine, nine hundred eighty-six, and eight hundred and sixty-six, and so on. How many different three-digit numbers can she form using these three cards? Let's first see these two examples. The only difference is actually the ones place, right? Why? Because the card nine and the card six can be changed, which means that the card nine can be nine or six. The card six can be six or nine. But the card eight can only be eight, so let's assume the three-digit number is actually the square as the hundredth place, and the triangle as the tenth place, and the circle as the ones place. So for the hundredth place, how many options are there? Yes, three, because they are six, eight, or nine. For the six. Let's see. We choose the first one as the six. So, how many options for the triangle? Also three. Yes, because we have one, two, three, three. So, it can't be six or eight or nine. If it's the six, the circle can only be eight. But if it's eight, it can be six or nine. If it's nine. The ones place can only be eight, so we got one, two, three, four, four for this for this one, right? If the square is eight, then the triangle can be six or nine. And if the triangle is six, then the ones place can be six or nine, six or nine, the same. Which is one, two, three, four, also four, and if the square is nine, then the triangle same as the first one, right? Six, eight, nine. If it's six, the circle can only be eight, and then six, nine, eight, one, two, three, four, four. So we got four times three, which is twelve. So E is the answer. The last question: Each of Basil's friends added the number of the day and the number of the month of their birthdays and obtained thirty-five. Their birthdays all fall on different days. 
What is the greatest possible number of friends that Basil has? Let's firstly write down the equation: day plus month equals thirty-five. For the day, the smallest number is one, right? And the max number is actually thirty-one, but it depends. For the month. It should be one to twelve. So let's see if the date is the thirty-one, which is a max number. Ah,、uh, the month is four. But for April, we got only thirty days. So this one is wrong. And then thirty-five. In May, we got thirty-one days. So this is correct. And Twenty nine, six, twenty eight, seven, blah blah blah. We have to add it all the way to twelve, right? If it's twelve, then it's twenty three, and if it's thirteen, it's bigger than twelve. So this is definitely wrong. So we got twelve minus five plus one, which is. Eight. So B is the answer.